What's cracking is Sentis here, back at it again with another reaction video live from the isolation room. I don't have coronavirus, but um, that's the thing everybody else in my family does. And I'm in an isolation, per isolation period. My situation is interesting enough, and you'd be thinking, I mean, instead of making some stupid reaction video, why, why aren't you just making a video about your isolation? which uh, thank you genius is what I am also working on so currently in the process of filming a video stay tuned check it out it's gonna be really really good I'm already have ideas of how it's gonna be edited but um, I mean I don't really it's all cloudy until I get to my desk start going on my laptop and um, just start working on it sorting the clips together two reaction videos ago I wore this t-shirt and um, the last one, the last reaction video I did, which was in a almost two year span, I, I just coincidentally wore the same t-shirt and I, I just found that cool. So I decided I'm gonna make another reaction video on purpose wearing this t-shirt again and due to my limited laundry and uh, my phone um, trying to be in the spotlight, uh, which you'll see um, in my, uh, um, you'll see more of that in my uh, isolation videos. It's like my phone is like, bro, uh, like it knows I'm YouTube, I'm like bro, I can get you more more views and more subscribers. Just they want some of this. This morning I was just looking in my drawer, I saw this T-shirt, and I'm like, oh, you know what? How about that reaction video? Also, to add to that, um, I uh, I wanted to do uh, a reaction video during isolation, and how about this reaction video? Let's get to it. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm reacting to is I'm gonna be reacting to the first thing I see on my recommended. Also, before I start the video, um, my socials are, are are right there, so just check them out. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Tap the bell to help let you know whenever that next video is going to be coming on that you're staying tuned for. And it's free. Everything is free. So, like, I just don't see why you wouldn't do it if you like this content. But anyway, let's just get to the video. And it's a five-second video saying, what did Shaggy say? Rules are rules. So, I'm going to react to that. And I'm going to react to the first video that pops up in the suggestion. Sykes, it's the gay blade. The gay blade? Okay. Wow. That was so obvious though. That was such an obvious one. That was such an obvious one, man. The gay blade. <laughs> I don't know how these uh, what, what was it supposed to be? How Fred Jones said his treasure. Then the US healthcare portrait by SpongeBob looks like an interesting one, so I'm gonna react to that. They're carrying treasures from the pyramid. Before the treasures are smuggled out of the country. Stolen treasures. <laughs> treasure. Where does that come from? The word treasure. Honestly, okay, I'm not really laughing yet. But, um, obviously, old cartoon is just comedy gold. Um, you know, sometimes just bloopers just come out. Like, uh, the classic Pingus meme. And, uh... And then there's Spongebob, which is still old, but a little newer than those cartoons. And the creators did it on purpose to put sexual innuendos in there. It's now looking at it, looking back at it, uh, I feel like if we watch episodes again, it's pretty obvious that there's some really like perverted stuff, uh, not only perverted, just like dirty stuff in there. And um, speaking of Spongebob, US healthcare portrayed by Spongebob. Honestly, this, this, this looks really relatable. So I'm gonna uh, watch this. <laughs> Oh no, this is horrible. What is it, Doctor? This man has no insurance. He'll never be able to afford this room. You're right, nurse. Extract the patient to the hallway. Oh yeah, this, uh, this is a meme. That was a really good meme with this. Um, <laughs> I think on Peter Parker's Cries, it's like an entirely different channel. But uh, I was about to pause and, and just say what a different reaction, uh, which explains the awkward laugh. Um, featuring more of my phone being in the spotlight. I was about to say, their voices are sort of getting me nervous. I, I, I don't understand, it's... I don't know. They're not the best, their they're, they're voices, but I... I shouldn't be commenting on, 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 on voice acting since I don't do any voice acting. But, um... I don't know, like, it just makes the meme less viewable. That. My voice is probably not the best though, so... You know, it's fair game. What's that noise? I'm sorry. Doctor, 
Yes, doctor. Regarding your patient, doctor, I have come to this conclusion. Yes, go on. We have to surgically remove him from out in front of the candy machine so I can get to the nutty nut ball. It was so bad that they just yoed him to the to the snack vending machine. I feel so bad. That's in that's in, that's inhumane. If if a hospital if a hospital worker would do that, like wouldn't wouldn't that be their job? Wouldn't that be like wouldn't it be it for them? I know it's a cartoon, but like, eh, wow. Um, I don't know. I just feel bad. Ah, it's hard. Of course, nurse. I'm on it. Oh yeah. Excuse me, be gone, Administrator Fahim. Flotsam, what can I do for I you? It has come it. to my attention that your patient, Mr. Krabs, is out on the front sidewalk. Yes, yes he is. Oh, what were you thinking, man? We're trying to run a business here. We can't leave patients on the sidewalk. Not to worry. Nurse! I'm on it. Huh. <laughs> what kind of hospital is this? Well, <laughs> you must healthcare in a nutshell. <laughs> This is actually good. This is this is good. U U.S. healthcare in a nutshell, indeed. Oh, um, the uh, thirteen-second video, uh, and now politics, or should I do capitalism portrait by SpongeBob? I'm gonna watch the capitalism video because I don't think the video is long enough. Um, actually, actually. <laughs> It's just a little old Krabby Patty smothered in jellyfish jelly. I call it a Krabby Patty with jellyfish jelly. Could I try some? Sure. Amazing. This is the greatest thing I've ever eaten. Jellyfish jelly. Could that be? Could that be a new delicacy? Is it, in, is it a delicacy? Have you ever tried it? Is it any good? Let me know in the comments. Um, but <laughs> it seems like something I, I would really enjoy. Maybe something you can put on your toast if you want to eat fancy. J just just have my old to toast with jellyfish jelly in the morning. That's how I wake up. But yeah, <laughs> what a nice glass of OJ or a cup of joe. Uh, maybe both because, I mean, why not have it all? If it's, if it's any good, it really, it, honestly, like, there's some stuff... In SpongeBob, in cartoons, but I'm saying SpongeBob in like in particular, that it's just fake. It's just it's not realistic. But I think jellyfish jelly could actually be honestly a real thing. I mean, jellyfishes are real, and I didn't even think they were real at first when I when I when I would uh, watch them. I thought they were just some mythical creature that would just you know that you know you touch them and they kill you. And honestly, finding out that that they were real sort of unnerved me. Like imagine getting stung by one, it must. And my mom even agreed. She's like, "Yeah, um, you, you, if you get stung by a jellyfish in the hospital, but luckily enough, they live uh, f like far enough from human life uh, in the ocean, and you know, it's like you really have to swim far to like get stung by one. Just like you have to swim far enough to get bit by a shark. You know, all the dangerous creatures live far in the ocean. So I, you know, this this." This world isn't as scary as we think, boys. I'm gonna come back here for lunch every day for the rest of my life! Hey, buddy. You alright? <laughs> Which president is that trying to mimic? George Washington himself? Something like that. But, uh... Anyway. You okay, Mr. K? Spongebob! You okay, Mr. I got a proposition for you. How's about you go catch me some of those little money fish? Oh boy, getting paid to jellyfish. That's my life's dream. Well, keep dreaming. This will be on your time. Hi, hi, sir. Now go get me some jellyfish and make it quick. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot the song that jellyfish used to make. Mmm. I, I used to be okay with it, now I find it kind of unnerving. Hmm, imagine, you know? I think that's part, part of the sound is also why I didn't think they were real. Because I thought they were just like, bu supposed to be bugs. And I think they are supposed to be bugs, but because in the ocean, those bugs are jellyfish, which is totally a real creature. No, but for real, it actually is a real creature, though. 
Um, and jellyfish jelly might might even be a real thing. Um, we're gonna need more than like, one. Like an edible thing, meaning puny jellyfish. But sir, how many jellyfish do you need? SpongeBob, we have a whole ecosystem for the hungry paying customers. Oh no! Don't tell me you've stopped caring for the customer. Ah! No, never. Then go out there and get me some more jellies. Okay, Mr. Krabs. Just make sure the jellyfish are comfortable. They are oh so sensitive. Ooh, I'll keep them comfortable, all right. Inside me, wallet. <laughs> Sort of cringing at him in the dirt. How does he do that and not lose pounds, though, man? I mean, I, that's that's a little unrealistic. I mean, like, not 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 to be fat phobic here, but uh, doing that sort of burns calories, and like with that, you lose weight. Unless I don't know, maybe he stock does up on some Krabby Patties to regain those calories. Hey, right now! Hey, 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 this isn't what it looks like, SpongeBob. Why, uh, we're Caught just, in the uh, act. Uh, uh, having a little tea party. Uh -huh. I know he loved money, and I was like, what's wrong with that? But they sort of, even even the way they showed his money obsession, it was a little too much, so I was like, okay, like, it's, this guy loves likes money a, a little too much, and he does indeed because um, that I, I, I figured out that like if you're an adult, you understand, you'll know that like okay, that's not that's not good to like money that much. Basically, uh, he's a big capitalist, and he sees money entirely over people. Uh, sees humans as basically tools <coughs> and uh, money making tools, and uh, just money is the is, is the sole importance to him, and that's honestly the dark secrets of like the rich and uh some of the rich and uh just um uh, it's it's just a reality that especially the middle class um no because there's the rich and there's the middle class and especially in canada uh the upper class the middle class uh, anywhere just the middle class they you know they they, they they're forced to play ta to, to play to pay taxes and the rich uh they they just uh a lot of them s seem to evade taxes and that's honestly if you like money as much as crabs you practice tax evasion a tea party. You tricked even though it doesn't say it in the crabs, show. i wouldn't have collected Unless, all those jellyfish and i know that this was their fate this isn't right jellyfish need wide open space and fresh air easy boy what are you doing with that Something yes. that should have been done a long episode. time ago! No! The squeaky bolt on this door was driving me crazy! <sighs> and now I'm gonna set these jellyfish free! <laughs> well, you can't! The door is voice activated and it will only open if I say open! Ha! <laughs> Burn! Even completely innocent childhood me was happy seeing the jellyfish get free. Because honestly, I thought that um, maybe that was going to be the new... Um, um, that's how that's what was going to happen. Uh, uh, the, you know, Spongebob wasn't going to be able to go jellyfishing anymore. And for some reason, I enjoyed seeing him do that. Because it was just a guy uh, having fun, doing his hobbies. And... Um, and I seem to, and and it was my, it was my obviously my favorite character in the show. So like, uh, I I don't know, I liked seeing that, and uh, I thought, okay, I'm not gonna see those jellyfish scenes anymore. And honestly, I guess it's it's supposed to be that way, but that um, 
the factory wasn't aesthetically pleasing and I'm like, if, I, if I'm gonna have to look at that, it's just, yeah, Spongebob ruined. But, um, sp real Spongebob ruin is watch the episodes again. Um, <laughs> as an adult, that's childhood ruined because uh, you're gonna see that, again, they reveal so many dark se secrets, so many dark realities about the world. Exercise craze. Goodbye, friends. I'm taking jelly off the menu. I remember uh, being feeling, oh, that's a little much when 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 they stung him, because again. Crabs was one of the OGs, and I'm like, it wasn't gonna survive that sting, but it's a cartoon, so like, really, uh, whoever survives is, 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 is at the, the creator's discretion. I kind of feel like this video was too long, well, um, yeah, whoever survives, then, then I guess he'll, he'll, he'll survive, and he ended up being clean for like, the next episode, and, uh, I guess when you're a kid, you tend to forget what's real and what's not. But, uh, guess what, you've made it to the end of this video, um, if you enjoyed, again, leave a like uh, and share, subscribe. It's all free. Uh, socials are going to be there again. And uh, that is it. Uh, always remember to stay fucking hydrated. This honestly was not the best video. But, um, you know, there's nothing in particular that, um, that gets sent to me to react. And I don't really feel... Like there's something that I should be reacting to. I know recently there was the, um, the verdict uh, of Officer Derek Chauvin and uh, the murder of George Floyd. And let me just say that, um, you know, at, at least at least there's been some punishment being enforced on him because what he did was clearly murder. Uh, but honestly, I don't know if I should go as far as reacting to a video on, on the verdict. Plus, um, the verdict was a yesterday thing. And I should just keep keep it more innocent here for now. Uh, not really trying to get political, not really trying to get contra controversial. Um, but I basically, I think I just said something controversial. So I'm, I'm sorry if this was not the best video, but I felt like I had to make sort of a reaction video to keep content coming. And uh, because honestly, I had a, such a solid opportunity. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of the day, uh, fantastic rest of the week. Uh, take care of yourselves. Stay safe, especially during these times. And um, I'll see you again for the next video. Stay tuned uh, and be sure to check out my other videos. Stay safe.